The second generation Kia Cadenza is here, and its mission pretty much stays the same. Comfortable and stylish transport, with little regard for fun and frolic. Styling changes are subtle, but the redesign for 2017 Cadenza features an all new body structure. Slightly lower and wider than the previous car, the second generation Cadenza remains the same overall length. A longer wheelbase results in more room all around, and especially for those riding in the back seat. We doubt anyone would complain about the accommodations. It's still powered by a slick 3.3 liter V6 engine, but now it makes 290 horsepower, down slightly from the last model. The V6 is mated to the company's first 8-speed automatic transmission in a front-wheel drive car. While this transmission is designed to improve fuel economy, we think it could stand a touch more development before singing its praises. It's not quite as responsive as the best out there. Speaking of fuel economy, the EPA predicts the Cadenza will get about 23 miles per gallon overall. During our time behind the wheel of this rented Cadenza, we felt that the ride and handling were nothing special. Not offensive, but not engaging in the way you think of a driver's car that encourages more involvement and, well, fun. And this is probably exactly the way buyers of these large cars like it. The Cadenza's ultra-quiet interior and clear visibility makes this car easy to live with. The interior of this top-shelf SXL model was gorgeous, with comfortable heated and vented seats that had fancy diamond-stitched quilted seat bolsters. Simple buttons and knobs make the controls easy to use. There are also lots of convenient bins, cubbies, and USB and power outlets scattered about the center console. A beautiful panoramic sunroof is optional on the base model and standard on the higher trims. Other interior enhancements include an available head-up display, a super nice surround view monitor, which gets you a bird's eye view of the area around the vehicle, hands-free trunk opening, and a wireless smartphone charger. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard. On the safety front, you can get the Cadenza with forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking, but we think this should be standard on all models. The Cadenza starts at just $32,890, and a fully equipped model like this one tops out at $45,290. The previous Cadenza did well in our testing, offering a spacious and comfortable interior, simple controls, and a smooth, efficient, and punchy powertrain. The Cadenza also marked the end of any lingering thoughts that Kia is just a manufacturer of cheap, unrefined cars. But who buys a car like the Cadenza? It's certainly not for those looking for a tied-down sports sedan on the likes of a BMW or an Audi. And the Cadenza isn't regarded in the same league as luxury brands Lexus or Cadillac. We think this well-rounded and thoroughly likable car competes well with somewhat limited range of big cars such as the Toyota Avalon, Chrysler 300, Buick LaCrosse, Chevrolet Impala, and Ford Taurus. And it just might be able to run with the best of them. For more on sedans, check out consumerreports.org.